Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're starting off the video today with just a quick overview of the new gameplay patch that was added called the Title Update Number 2 that they released just last night. And I want to talk about this really quick. I know we don't talk a lot about gameplay stuff in this channel, but I like to keep you guys informed uh, to whatever degree I can. And I want to kind of make a few comments about this patch and what people have been saying about the gameplay and how it has changed. So, uh, the, one of the points they make in here, you guys can read this on your own if you want to. It's all over the game, obviously, when you log in and stuff like that. They Basically, what they did was they increased the responsiveness of dribbling, and they also improved shooting. It increased the effectiveness of easy shots taken inside of the box from 45 feet, 15 yards, and closer to the target. So, it looks like... Uh, and it says below these shots are more likely to be on goal and not hit the post or miss the goal So I remember hearing a lot of people explaining that they hit the post a lot inside the box with a finesse shot or whatever that may be so um, And then below that it says the target is the exact location of where the ball is expected to go Determined through a mixture of directional input and the shooting assist setting So maybe we have to start messing with that shooting assist setting a little bit more and trying that you know maybe trying it on like I think there's three different modes, like a heavy assist, like a middle assist, and like no assist. And maybe we have to kind of mess with that to figure out which one is the best. But shots taken from very small angles are likely more or more likely to be on goal. So that is kind of interesting as well. Maybe there'll be some like near post short angles that will be really, really OP. But basically this update says that it says that it's going to increase the responsiveness, responsiveness of dribbling and also increase the responsiveness of shooting inside the box. So it says the effectiveness of the dribbling improvement will scale based on the average rating with the least improvement being felt at 80 and the most improvement being felt at 99. So interesting. So that means the high dribbling players in this game will feel a, a little bit better. Uh, reduce the maximum time a player can sit at kickoff from 30 seconds to 15. I like that. Increase the speed of goal kick pass animations. Okay, all right. Green time shots are now less impacted by air. Okay, green time shots are more effective. Maybe we will actually see uh, shot timing be more important now in the game because before, uh, at least earlier parts of this year, not many people would green time shots because it really just wasn't that worth it. So there, it was a big patch, a lot of notes, but from what I'm hearing, um, most of the stuff, what, what is this foot here? It says the squad conflict SBC pop-up was not considering all the, okay, on-pitch visuals are sometimes overlapping, okay. Um, Sometimes manager items were listed as having zero negotiations. I saw that live on a stream a couple days back. Uh, interesting. Okay, so it doesn't look like too much was uh, was messed up there. Once to watch player item design was cut off display. Okay, whatever. Updates. Okay, sweet. So that is kind of the updates right there. And again, the gameplay updates is what we're most worried about with these. We really don't even read the rest, right? Okay, they included some star heads. Nice. GG's. But uh, we kind of just read like the foot improvements and that's kind of how we go with those patches. But from what I've seen on Twitter today and from what I read in that patch right there, they increase the shooting inside the box, which people are saying that the power and the accuracy is definitely better. People are also saying that dribbling is a little bit better as well. But the rest of the game just kind of feels the same in a sense. It's still really slow. Um, you know, defending is OP. Holding the ball around in the back and waiting for a chance to go forward is still kind of the way that people are playing so far in this new patch. But you know it's going to take a little bit before we figure out what exactly this patch is going to feel like. It's going to take a weekend league. It's going to take division rivals throughout the week next week to really feel like we have a number on what is new through this. Through this. So if you're playing champs this weekend, good luck. Maybe try out some new things. Uh, and again, don't just feel like you're. Don't just feel like you have to play that the game that this that works. Right. Don't play the slow gameplay that works if that's the only thing that you can do on this game branch out try different things play in different ways and you should be able to have more fun doing that as well so that would be my challenge and my advice to you guys if you're playing this weekend is to watch some of that stuff but that's enough of the gameplay talk which we don't usually talk about on this channel but i wanted to fill you guys in on a few of those things as you may have seen let's talk about the market so weekend league rewards when this video drops is going to be they're going to be like right after this video i have 300,000 coins left i will show you guys right now what i have invested in today uh, for weekend league rewards and it's all based around kind of one player i'm going to be honest i have got a lot of raheem sterling i got a lot of these left wing cards for around 160 to 165,000 coins 
I think I bought the one with the Hunter for 170, but I should very easily be able to sell that. And then this Team of the Year nominee card, I bought these at 120K. Um, I feel like the links to Delhi Alley will be good this week. And of course, Prem is king every single week in this game, right? So Premier League stuff goes up every week. This Raheem Sterling went up last week. I flipped this one last week as well. I think I have two Mareses here for like 50 something. And I snagged two Gabriel Jesus as well. Uh, 55 and 56k. So I'm kind of actually interested in maybe picking up another one of those just in case. It, are there any more Gabriel Jesus is out here? If I could actually type in his name, 60 less less than 60k is really what I'm looking for. I don't want to pay much more than like uh, 58 to be honest. I probably won't pay much more than that. 58,000 coins at the moment. Maybe I'll snag a few more on bid if that is possible. Uh, but I could easily see this guy being somewhere around kind of the range of, especially with the Hunter. I mean, the hunt, the one with the Hunter, Kempstyle, man, that could easily be selling for like 75K later this weekend. There's a 56. I'm going to leave that and see if it gets undercut. But that's another short uh, thing to notice. If you guys are watching this video right before Weekend League Rewards, make sure if you're if you're looking for some last minute buys that you really, really pay attention to the Kempstyles, right? Gabriel Jesus with a Hunter Chem style sells for 64, which is like four or 5K more than his lowest buy it now. But I guarantee you this goes up a decent amount tomorrow because the Hunter Chem styles, the Shadow Chem styles on Thursday flips are massive, especially for informs out of packs. So just keep an eye on those. If that's uh, something you're doing to flip this week, pay the extra couple thousand coins for the Hunter or for the Shadow Chem style because if it's on a really OP and a really popular player, that could actually pay out really, really well for you. And it could, um, you know, net you some extra profit on the end. Paying one or two K more, if you find an undercut on like a Gabriel Jesus like this for the Shadow or Hunter card on that actual card item could uh, net you an extra five, six, seven thousand coins on the Weekend League when people are really, really looking to buy cards with the Chem Styles to put in their squad. So again, if you're looking for any last minute Weekend League buys, Look at out of out of packs informs, of course, as we always do. Uh, this week we did get a new team of the week. Actually, today we got a new team of the week. I want to talk about this. There are definitely some things in here we need to talk about uh, regarding some of these guys that got in. Uh, this card right now, Haland. Ooh, he's not extinct. He has been extinct. Okay, he is extinct still. Two hundred and ninety thousand coins for this card right here. He looks mental, right? He's got the three star, three star, six foot four, high medium. And I think a lot of people were imagining this card would be expensive. If you're wanting to buy this card, I would just honestly tell you to wait. Uh, we're going to have more lightning rounds this weekend. This card's going to be suspect to some of those. So I would say be very careful and wait for that to happen a little bit more this weekend. And just wait to see how the reviews come out on this card as well. If it's something that you want for your squad, I would definitely wait though. But this is he's kind of like one of the two highlights of the team of the week. Of course, Mbappe getting in as well is huge. This card's sitting right now at like 2.6 mil, probably going to get packed a little bit. Uh, week, it's going to have weekend league rewards in a, in a bit. And also this weekend, it's going to have um, lightning rounds again. For this whole team of the week, they will be suspect to lightning rounds. And it's a solid team of the week, right? I would say like maybe a 7 out of 10. We have two big names. We have uh, Van Dijk. We have Mbappe. So that's nice. We have a really cool card with Haaland. And then the rest is just, it's just all right. You know, Oop Makano was nice for an OP 81 rated center back. He's 20,000 coins. Uh, and then some of these guys are just going to be, they're just going to stay really cheap. Some of these guys are going to stay really cheap because they're just SBC fodder kind of guys, unfortunately for them. Uh, kind of like Canales is 37,000 coins at the moment. That's going to be an SBC goat. Tiago is interesting. He did get above 70 pace. He's got 71 pace, 88 rated, but uh, I don't see a ton of this week's team of the week getting into a lot of people's teams, but it, you know, that Haaland is probably going to be investable out of packs. I would say even Casemiro, Upa Meccano, um, some of those guys could definitely be investable out of packs. So we'll be watching those cards this weekend for sure. And depending on what info we get for the headliner promo, because the first set of, of, of headliners is only in packs for another day, basically. So it's in packs until 6 p.m. on Friday. And then after that, those cards will be gone. We will have a set two of headliners, which will probably not be as good as the first set. But the real question is, how long is that second set going to last? You know, how long is that second set of headliners going to last? Is it going to be similar to what they did with um, Road to the Final cards, where they had those Road to the Final, the second set, 
Those second set of Rona the Final cards were only out for like three days in packs. So people like, yo, these cards are going to be very rare, which they were. Or are they going to make them available for an entire week like the Scream promo? So we've had two already this year, or this cycle of FIFA. We've had two promos so far with uh, two two-week promos. This is our third one right here. And the, set, the first one, of course, Rona the Final, uh, those cards were uh, in packs the first set for a week. And then the second set was in packs for... Uh, like three days as i said so i'm really curious to see what they do with some of these cards and what they do with the second set because i'm honestly just not so so sure what they can do to uh to make this promo like that much better you know they've been releasing incredible content so far they've been uh the sbcs all that stuff has been crazy it's been awesome um, I just don't know how they can go up from here in this next week. I do think the player selection will be not as quality. I mean, I've mentioned that before in a couple videos, but I just don't know how we can top these players. Telez, Lewa, Neymar, Merton, Salah. Like there's, I don't think there's literally any way that we can top some of these players. So that's going to be very interesting to note as well. Now, I talked to you guys about buying these players possibly today before rewards uh, as I'm recording this. A little bit earlier today, they were lower, right? In the middle of the day, I saw Neymar was around 4 point. He was under 4.1 for a smidge. Uh, Lewa was like 790 a little bit. Tellez was actually 230 and a little bit below at a point. Walker was 390 at one point. Nine goals under 500. So a lot of these guys are kind of just chilling in their same range again. So, And like I said, I don't, I don't really see a huge downturn in these cards after rewards. You might be watching this video after rewards and kind of comparing what their prices are now in this video to what they actually are on the market at the time you're watching. That could be an interesting thing to look at. But I think some of the higher tier guys, and I think all of them, you know, they could take, you know, maybe a 5% hit at most, 5 to 10% hit at most uh, for some of the lower cards. Maybe like you see Sansone's popping up at like 24, 25K. That would be a buy price for me. Um, you might see Vardy drop off a little bit because Vardy was panic sold today because in real life, Lester played and he uh, sustained an injury. Now, I'm not entirely sure how um, how bad the injury is, but he was subbed off and it didn't look too good. So Jamie Vardy right now is 145,000 coins. And, you know, this is something that I tweeted out today. If you see that he is actually not that hurt and maybe he's out for a week, right? That wouldn't be too bad because then he would come right back in. He would have a chance to play again. And Lester is still, I think, on a win streak right now because they did win today, I believe. I might have to go ahead and check that here in a second. Let's actually check that right now. But I think Lester played today and they did win. They did. They won four to one. So um, I don't know if they're really on a streak right now. Let me check. Is Lester on a streak right now? Lester is on a a two game oh no they're not they're on a one game win streak they lost to burnley on on sunday yeah okay so they're on a one game win streak right now so lester is on a one game win streak if vardy is actually not going to be out for that long then you might not see this card drop that much but if it does continue to drop that could be an investment right because this is like the only headliner card that has really dropped a bunch since it's come out and that's because of his injury. So if you start seeing reports on Twitter that Vardy is only gonna be out for a week or less, or it was just like a pull and he's gonna be able to be fine, maybe try to pick up one or two of these guys under 140 if you can during rewards, depending on how low his price gets. But if you see that he actually is injured and that he's going to be missing some time more than a couple weeks, then I would be very, very careful with this card. It still could be an investment if Leicester continue to win. I don't really know what their schedule looks like, to be honest. Um, but it looks like they play FA Cup. And then after that, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how to see ahead right here for what I'm looking at. It looks like they don't play Prem for a little while. It doesn't look like they play, they play any Prem games for a little while. But... Um, Okay, yeah, there's the 29th, there's Prem games as well. So on the one on the first, February 1st, Leicester played Chelsea. Interesting. So that's gonna be something to watch. Just watch this card price because I think it's gonna fluctuate a decent amount with him being injured. Uh, and of course, people are thinking that Leicester would have a decent shout at getting four wins in a row because they've been playing pretty well. So just keep an eye on that one. That one is one that I'm interested in now since he did have the drop. I think that is intriguing. But if obviously if he's not healthy, then you probably don't want to mess with it too 
much. So again, what is coming this weekend? I want to quickly talk about a few things we could see today on Thursday. We're probably going to see another player SBC because they have been super consistent and super on the ball with the player SBCs. I need to talk about Delhi Ali as well because it's kind of funny, right? Delhi Ali gets an SBC today at 6 p.m. UK. Tottenham play um, like right after that. Tottenham win and Delhi Ali scores the first goal. And I don't know, was he man of the match? Deli Ali was not man of the match. Actually, Serge Aurier was man of the match. So I don't think Deli would get an in form for his performance today, even though it was a league play. But maybe on the weekend, if Tottenham do play again on the weekend, let me check. If Tottenham do play on the weekend, which it looks like they do. Wow, they play City. They play Manchester City on the 2nd of February uh, this upcoming weekend, I think. Or no, it's a week away. It's about a week away. Yeah. So they play City next weekend. So there, there is actually a week break. Never mind. There is actually a little bit of a week break for these guys. They had midweek games today. So February 2nd will be the next time that City and Tottenham play. They're both on one game's winning streaks right now, I think, for the headliner cards. So that will be interesting. But I'm probably going to be doing this SBC because I'm a Tottenham fan and because this Deli Ali would slot right into my squad. Um, would he, who would he go in for? I don't really know. We'll have to figure that out. But I do think that I might uh, do him just because I'm a Tottenham fan. Do I think Tottenham are going to string four in a row? I don't think that it's likely. Is this SBC actually worth it? I'm honestly going to say I don't think this SBC is that worth it. Right now in Footbin, it says it's 120,000 coins. Unless you're doing upgrade packs, unless you're doing these 81 plus upgrade packs, then I would not go after it because I really don't think he's going to... Maybe he gets one more in form. That bumps him to 79 pace. Uh, but, you know, when you compare this to his Scream card, it's just not as good as what the Scream card is. And I'm sure you guys have done this, but uh, the Scream card is 100 and I think 70K at the moment. This SBC is 120-ish. And the difference in the stats is really massive, right? The pace is lower, the shot and the, the passing is lower, and the dribbling. But the defense and the physical, if you're going to play this guy box-to-box, -box, which I feel like for FIFA's sake... He is a box to box midfielder, then uh, you might be cutting yourself short if you're not using the scream item. Just throw like a catalyst on him for the scream, and then you'll get the, the pace and the passing boost that this card has. So, again, the massive, massive defensive boost really, really makes this card good with the scream version, which people say the scream Deli Ali is very, very good. So, um, I would say, in my opinion, that this is actually, I think, out of all the SBCs we've got in this promo, this one might be like one of the worst. To be honest, this one could be one of the least best value, if I can use that term, the least best value SBC that we've gotten so far this promo, just saying right there, just not the best. All the other ones have been really solid in my opinion. This one, kind of on the edge, even though it is a live item, but it's cool. Thank you, EA Sports. We appreciate it. It's daily content, right? Not all the time what we want, but we're getting content daily, which is awesome. And then again, we are one day away. If you're watching this on Thursday, we are one day away from possibly getting player of the month, Ben Yedder. I have heard a couple people mention that it could be on Monday instead of Friday, but I still do not think that that changes what the price of this card would be. Of course, this SBC expires on Friday. Um, so definitely watch a little bit on that. Some of you guys were also asking one last thing I want to check in this video. Some of you guys were asking about high rated golds. They're still inflated. That is the that is the truth, and that's what's going on. Now, weekend league rewards always brings a, an interesting dynamic, right? Sometimes for weekend league rewards, they seem to supply the high rateds like crazy. Everybody packs 84s, 85s, 86s, and sometimes they don't. I'm curious to see if they do that this week with some of these cards because uh, these cards are still very high. We have a lot of SBCs out, and I think EA wants to keep these cards up, evident by what they've done so far in this promo. So if you see any open bid deals, during or after rewards, that could be a shout for maybe, you know, getting a quick flip on SBC fodder if you like to trade with that, because there will be some some supply put onto the market for these SBCs, uh, SBC fodder cards with weekend league rewards. But again, uh, today was another, just an okay day of content, man, to be honest. We got the patch, which was okay. We got Deli Ali, which was nice to, just to get an SBC. And I think we got a headliners challenge as well for a jumbo gold pack, which isn't anything insane, but it is what it is. Thursday, I would expect a decent SBC to be on Thursday. There was one more leak that we have not actually seen come to fruition yet. And that was Lataro Martinez. Supposedly, we were getting a Lataro Martinez um, um, headliner card. 
that would be very interesting if we do get that card i'd be kind of excited actually it'd be a really good looking card they could give him 90 physical which would be insane but we will see if that sbc comes because it was originally leaked with the deli ali Maybe Lataro Martinez was part of the next week promo as well. And we'll talk about more stuff for the Friday week two of headliners. We'll talk about that promo on tomorrow's video and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Good luck in your weekend league rewards. And I'll see you guys later. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.